This is the Sports Betting Spotlight for the Las Vegas Review Journal NFL Preview Series 32 for 32. We are at the Golden Nugget in downtown Vegas, and Kelly Stewart and Tony Miller join me today at Kelly in Vegas, and Tony, the book director here at the Nugget. Spotlight on the Buffalo Bills today, a team that was 8-8 eight eight last season. First season under Rex Ryan, they had to win their finale to get to 8-8 eight and, eight and knock the Jets out of the playoffs. Kelly, what do you think of the twin brother combination in Buffalo, Rob Ryan and Rex Ryan? You know, it's funny how Rex promised these Bills fans they were going to go to the playoffs last year and then failed to do so. And so instead he hires his brother, who, in my opinion, is one of the worst coordinators ever to come out of Dallas and New Orleans. But hey, what are brothers for? I mean, what, what else do you do? If your brother can't get a job anywhere else, you give him a job, right? No, I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Well, that's apparently what happened here because I can't figure out how Rex would do. I, I can't. Sorry. What's your take on uh, Rex Ryan and Rob? Uh, you're, the, you're a Cowboys guy, so you got to see Rob Ryan in Dallas. Yeah, I saw Rob in Dallas, and he was horrible. And I watched him with the Saints. He was horrible there, too. And he's going to be horrible in Buffalo, you know. Uh, I don't think he's going to help that defense much at all. Uh, it all comes down, I think, with the Buffalo Bills this year, Matt, to their offense. You know, and, and they were number one in the NFL last year in rushing the ball, and they got to keep that going this year. All right, let's talk about the Bills' offense then, because uh, Carlos Williams facing a four-game suspension, a great short yardage back, a big guy. Um, trying to cut it down his weight a little bit, and it looks like he's come to camp in better shape. With Sean McCoy, Reggie Bush, uh, they got some options back there behind Tyrod Taylor, who I think stepped up and is on the fringe of being uh, one of the, I, th I would want to say in the elite class of quarterbacks in the NFL, he's got to prove it more. He's got to be more consistent over time. You look at his numbers last year, 20 TDs, six picks. He can get out of the pocket and make plays. Seventh in the league in pass rating, 99.4. This kid has uh, got some serious potential. Absolutely, you know, and, and like I said, they were number one in rushing, and he was 500 yards of that rushing himself as a quarterback. So, but I think the key here, though, is not so much the rushing game. It's going to be good. It's going to be up there. But Sammy Watkins has to stay healthy all year and give them the chance to open the field up and get the ball downfield to Sammy. Sammy's a 1,000-yard receiver last year. Uh, you like the Bills better offensively than you do defensively? I don't think that. I think that's a rhetorical question. You have yeah. to. I mean. Though I think Tyrod has limited targets, like Tony just said. Kid's a beast. I think he's probably, like you said, one of the better quarterbacks right now, at least in terms of being able to make a big play out of nothing. We can keep LaShawn McCoy healthy for the Bills, then, yeah, they might they might get over that season win total of eight. Well, two years ago, the Bills had one of the best defenses in the league. Number you know? four. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now all of a sudden we're talking offense with the Bills, so things have kind of switched yet. Rex Ryan's supposed to be the defensive mastermind. And then What's you, happened here? It, it, that's true. But, and then again, there's two draft picks, Lawson and Ragland, uh, both hurt. Yep. You know, coming right out of preseason. Both guys aren't playing football right now. So, yeah, their defense has a lot of holes in it. That's one setback for uh, Rex Ryan. Reggie Ragland, the linebacker from Alabama, second-round pick. He's out for the season with a knee injury. The Bills have had some unfortunate breaks here with injuries. So, Kelly, the win total is eight for the Bills. How do you play this? I think it's spot on. I don't play it at all. Tony, do you have a bold prediction for the Buffalo Bills? Pain. Lots of pain. Uh, you know, it's going to be between them and the Jets finishing second. They're going to be right around eight wins. Maybe they can squeeze out nine. All right. For Tony Miller and Kelly Stewart, that's the Sports Betting Spotlight on the Buffalo Bills.